Hello everybody. I got a question in my inbox. Uh, so I'm taking the time out. I just came from running. So I'm taking the time out right now before I uh, jump in the shower. But uh, for y'all who don't know, I'm in England. I know somebody asked me where I was, where I got stationed. I'm in England. So that's where I am. But um, somebody, I don't remember your name, I'm sorry. I didn't look it up before I started this video. Asked me how to become an honor grad. Um, I'm not going to promise that I remember everything. But how to become an honor grad. Because it's been almost a year since I left with BMT. It's amazing. It's been 10 months since I left. But I'm going to try to tell you everything I remember. So first thing to become an honor grad is that you have to be in a, leader, in a position of leadership. And there are plenty of them. Uh, I mean, there's not enough for everybody. But, of course, there are people who rise above. And there's those people who are just kind of like coasting through. But you got plenty of positions of leadership. And I really didn't consider myself to be in a position of leadership because I was just the guy on there. But, of course, you have like dorm chief, element leaders, and there are four of those. Um, you have like the latrine queen. You have, um, you have the, uh, academic, academic monitor, um, you have the uh, uh, house mouse, which is the person who cleans the MTI's office. You have day room chief, I think it's called, day room chief. Um, I mean, you, there's just something for everybody. And then, like, during Beast, I was the Beast monitor. But then you got uh, TDLs, you got SABC monitors, you got... Um, You got you got all this stuff, so don't worry about it. Positions of leadership, if you really want one, I'm sure you just figure out some way to get your MTI to notice you. You know, be responsible. That's pretty easy. If you're responsible and they notice that you're kind of putting some effort into being in BMT, then they'll give you a position of leadership. It's not hard. Um, you have to, there's an in-the-course test that you take. You pretty much go to all these classes during BMT, and um, at the end of BMT, you take an in-the-course test. You have to make a 90 or above. I'm pretty sure that's right. Make a 90 or above. Um, yeah, so just study for the test. It's not incredibly difficult, but, you know, just study. Try to make, try to make a 90 or above. I think I got a 97. I should have got a 98 because I missed a stupid question. The other two questions were kind of hard, but I missed a stupid one just because I didn't read the whole question. I was like, oh, I knew the answer. I bubbled that in. I was like, damn it. I missed that question. I shouldn't have did that. Um, you have to have no derogatory comments. So basically this means don't... Be a smart ass in BMT like me. I didn't get derogatory comments, but I'm a smart ass. But people thought it was funny when I said it. So unless you got smooth skills like me, don't try to be, don't try to like get on your MTI's nerves. You know, it'll be like I'm not gonna do this. Just do it. You know, don't be mouthing off to your dorm chief. Don't get busted doing something stupid by an MTI. Don't get busted doing something stupid by an older flight. Um, don't do anything stupid. Uh, if they if they tell you to accomplish something, try to get it done within that time frame. You know, derogatory comments were normally given out for people who uh, disrespected our dorm chief. Um, they got derogatory comments if they failed the PT test. Yeah, you got to pass your PT test. Uh, I, I don't remember if you have to make a particular score, but there are two different kinds of certificates or honors they give you for PT. One's a thund Thunderbolt, which is what I got, uh, I think because I made a 94 on my PT test. Uh, and then you got Warhawk, which is like damn near impossible to get. It's just because for people like me, I run slow. If y'all have watched my videos before, I run slow, whatever. Um, so, but yeah, if you can knock out, if you can get 100 points on your PT test, you get Thunderbolt. Which is supposed to be pretty awesome, but I didn't get that. I got Warhawk. Uh, yeah, you try to get a good score on your PT test that helps. Uh, no derogatory comments, be in a position of leadership. Um, your MTI has to generally just like you. You can't like have all these things and your MTI just think that you suck because then he has to, you have to personally, personally be recommended to get honor grad too. Um, there, I'm sure there's some other stuff, but I don't remember everything. That's I think those are the major things. Um, but when you get the BMT, they give you something called a BMTSG, which is like a little book, and I have it. It's just at home in South Carolina. I didn't bring it with me. 
but all the all the uh, requirements to become an honor grad are in there. So when I got the BMT and I saw that you can get an honor grad, I kind of pretty much just tried to get honor grad. So and it makes you it helps you just be a good trainee if you try to become an honor grad. Inadvertently, you are actually being a good trainee trying to get that honor. So it helps you. And you get two things. Well, I guess you get three things. Well. No, you get four things. Four things when you get undergrad. So, um, you get two physical things. I'm going to show you one. The other one's in my locker. I don't feel like doing all that. So, hold on one second. Okay, so when you graduate BMT, every airman that ever has existed since the implementation of the coin has got getting one of these. Uh, even like the tech sergeants and staff sergeants and master sergeants and whatever. They might have a, di a different design, but everybody gets one of these. Alright, so this is your Amherst coin. Everybody gets one. Uh, on coin, during your coin ceremony, that's the week of your graduation, everybody gets one. You see it? You can't buy this in the store. If you lose this, you're screwed. Okay, but if you're an um, airman, if you get a honor grad, then you get to go to the honor grad ceremony, which is right before the coin ceremony, and so you're you get like a special ceremony. It might be, well, I think I had like 60 people who were undergrad for my week. And in my flight, it was just myself and Grimalini. Just two girls out of 40 something females. And you get this coin if you're undergrad. Get this. Bam, it's pretty big. You get this on both sides. If you see the Airman coin, undergrad coin, undergrad coin is bigger than the Airman coin is. So I thought it was more awesome. You get that. Also, you get a ribbon. Um, uh, it's in my locker. It's on my uniform, so I'm not going to get that for you. Uh, you get you go to the honor grad ceremony, and because you're an honor grad, you get um, a day of another town pass, like automatically on sa on Saturdays. Everybody, unless your flight did something stupid, leading up to graduation, which you know your town pass can be taken away, but if you're an honor grad, uh, then you get free town pass on Sunday. So my flight, well, my flight also got PT, top PT female flight. So this would be out of the ordinary. But um, you graduate, the coin ceremony, I believe it's on Thursday. Um, graduation, like parade, is on Friday. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I... I think you get to go out on go out on, on town town pass on Friday. Saturday you get town pass. Sunday is base liberty, which means you're confined to the base. But if you get honor grad, su Sunday you can go out on town pass. And believe me, after eight weeks, you want to go on town pass. Like you would go out and like right outside the gate there's a McDonald's and like a gas station and you're just looking at the stuff like you've never seen it before in your entire life. So you want to go on town pass. So just trying to get on a grad. It's really, it's not that hard, you know, just be a good trainee. It's not difficult. So, yeah, try and get the coin. And people think it's really cool. I have four ribbons. Like, if you get on a grad, you have three. You're in a smaller percentage of people who earned the ribbon. So they don't give them out to, I think 10% of all trainees, that's about 80 people, get rid of the ribbon each week. So, and they don't give out all of them. Like, uh, some flights might not have one person because everybody just sucks. And just because you're dorm chief doesn't mean that you get honor grad because my dorm chief didn't get it. None of the Elma leaders got it. Only myself and the academic monitor got it. So, just because you're dorm chief don't make you that special. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's really not that hard. I hope I answered that question. I have another two questions coming up. Somebody asked me uh, about the gas chamber and about the obstacle course. So, I got a good funny story for that. But I'm not going to do it right now because I got to go get my clothes out the washer. So I will talk to y'all later. Deuces.